Whoa! Desert Rift. I have... What? What is that? What is that? A Gipto! <laughs> yeah! I love these guys. He has arrows in him. Not a particularly savage looking attack. Oh! I can't flurry rush that, that's weird. Here, let's shoot this guy. Take some chops at the, at the Gibdo. I wonder if I'll have to bomb him. They can do that now. Man, I wish there was a finishing blow. Can I talk about that? One of the things I, I think I might miss the most. Ooh. Gibdo bone. 40 fuse attack power? What? Not it's very durable, but 40? Uh, one of the things I miss the most about Zelda games, and I know they're, they've only been in a couple, is sword techniques. Man, I miss sword techniques. And I think the one I miss the most... Hey, buddy. Oh, wait, how did... Wait, how did I hit him? I, I guess I shocked him before. Is that what they're pushing me to do? Oh, they give me arrows and they give me shock fruit. This is to train me. They are weak. Also, I kind of want to switch off of, you know, my crazy, crazy weapon. They're weak to electricity. Wait. It's very hot. Really? And it's still too hot. Wow. Okay. Uh, but I think the sword technique I missed the most... Well, shield bashing is great. Shield bashing is a good mainstay of the series. Started with... Um, it started with Twilight Princess, I believe. Let's see, am I wrong? I'm trying to think of a 2D Zelda that might have had it. No? I think it's... I think it started with... Um, it, yeah, no, it, it started with, uh, with Twilight Princess. And it's, it's a good mainstay. Also, this did nothing, so I should do it. But the finishing blow is, is probably what I miss the most. Uh, in Breath of the Wild, and any game that doesn't have it, uh, a lot of enemies... That's not what I want. Uh, a lot of enemies have... Are like, kind of like... Punching bags? And you'll hit them, and they'll just fly around, you have to chase them. They're like a hockey puck, and I, I wish you could just put them down, you know? You knocked them down. That, that should be enough. Uh... Drop. And then... Uh, actually. We're gonna... We're gonna use some of our, our weaponry here. I, I don't have that ho a whole lot fused right now. Uh, let's drop this, and I want to put that on a spear, because if I put it on a, um... If I put it on a, a short-range weapon, like a, a two-handed weapon, it actually just makes the the range even worse. But this is kind of meant to be. Uh, and then... Oh, it's so cute! Look at the little dagger! <laughs> it's so adorable! I kind of wish it gave, like, stealth up or something. Okay. Thankfully, this rift gave me a good, uh, a good metric. I need to hop from shadows here. That's kind of neat. I mean, it, th this was a thing in Breath of the Wild, this condition, but I like the fact that there's verticality to play around with here. Verticality to create shadows. Hello! Put him down. You too. Oh, they have weapons stabbed at um. I like that. Oh wait. Oh. Yeah. And he had a rusty halberd. Not. I don't really need that. But it's there, you know. 
That's so cool. Man, I think my favorite areas in Zelda, which maybe I should... Get out of here. Maybe I should just get get over myself and play a Dark Souls game. Uh, I, I love the, like, the dark areas in Zelda. It helps that Halloween is coming up, but there's just something about... There's just something about, like, Redeads, Egyptos, that I really like in, in Zelda. One of my favorite areas in, in uh, in Wind Waker. Come on. Is the Earth Temple, uh, the Arbiter's Grounds are fantastic in Twilight Princess. Uh, the, eh, I don't really need that. Eh, nah. Nah, you can keep that. The Ancient Cistern in, um, in Toilet Princess. All great areas. Okay, let's get out of the sun. Ugh. And I think what I'm gonna do is auto-build myself a car. A monocycle. Perfect. Give it to me. Let's go. And then while I'm at it, let's, uh, let's eat, let's eat, eat some food here. I am not doing so hot. Let's see. Hot weather attack. That's not what I want. I want that. There we go. This is not handling that well at all. This thing is not... Am I going the wrong way? I think I am. Maybe? Is this going backwards? Am I going back to the town? Did I just turn myself around? I think I did. Unless... Whoa. I better not be lost. I might be lost. <laughs> I think I might be lost. North Gruta Ruins. I remember this place. There's a stealth section. Which means I am currently going away from the city, but I know... I know which way I should be going. Okay. I was like, what, what kind of... What kind of... What kind of near automata stuff is this? Uh. Hi. Hi? Riju? you here nor I you good to see you Riju and in the unlikeliest of places you always show up in unusual times <laughs> glad we're agreed oh so Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky then Zelda vanished right in front of you and now you've come here looking for clues hmm Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle took place. It has blanketed the whole desert, including our town. 
And not long after that, swarms of monsters we'd never seen before began attacking. We're calling them Gibdos. It's an original name that has never before been used. <laughs> Physical attacks don't work well against them. They're slow, but they still make investigating the Sand Shroud difficult. Were you watching just now? Hmm. I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it may be a f an effective weapon against the Gibdos. Hmm. But this technique is... unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of the Sand Shroud and search for Zelda as well. Hey. Link, will you help me with my training? I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one at that dummy over there. Huh. My pleasure. Let's give her a hand. Oh. Ha! Huh. There we go. Now let's try something a little trickier. Hmm. Aim for those dummies over there. Maybe we can hit them all with a single lightning strike. Here's an idea. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Instead, aim for the area in the middle of all three. Like right around where that rock is just jutting out. Oh, but keep in mind that the farther away a target is from me, the longer it will take me to build up the energy to hit it. Okay. Okay. I don't think she needs my help with this one. Beyond just the initial shot, now. Perfect. <laughs> Both our aims were true. Yes! I'm getting the hang of it now. The Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. Oh? I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. Uh. Oh? What was that? Mm. It didn't sound like any noise the Sand Shroud has made, that's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... Chief! We've received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking Karakara Bazaar. Boyara is on her way there. <laughs> She's already... Okay, understood. Thank you. <laughs> Link, we need to head to Karakara Bazaar at once. I must ask for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Karakara Bazaar? It's the oasis northeast of Gerudo Town. Let's go show those Gibdos what we're made of. But first, I saw a chest. Hold on, Riju. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I could warp back there. I think I should probably warp back there. Ooh. What? I didn't even see that. I should probably warp back there. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Man, I cannot see. Uh, yes? That's it, I think? You know, one thing I appreciate about this game so far is it feels like I'm always headed the right direction. I, I stumble across auto-build in the beginning of the game. I stumble across Riju here. So many things are just kind of going, getting into place, and I, it's, I don't know if it's because the map is busier, there's a lot more things to find, but it doesn't feel as empty as Breath of the Wild did. I wonder what fire would do. Fire historically has been good against them. Sorry to keep everyone waiting, but I'm here now, and we're going to wipe all, all the Gibdos out at once. Follow me. Link, don't let me down. These monsters stand no chance. All right, let's 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 use my bow that has zoom on it. That seems like a good place to start. Perfect. Good shot. And she has no, no cooldown from this either. Boom. And... Oh, snap. Uh, switch to a weaker bow. I guess the 
This is overkill. Come on, guys. Thank you. Good job. Grab the rib cages. Right in the middle of them. On the ground. Perfect. And we're going to get a lot of good stuff out of these. Sorry, Riju. I'm going to circle around behind him. Go. Good shot. What am I missing? Any more? Where are they? They're tough. Ah. Not when we're here. Where are they? Ah, there are some. Okay. Uh, do I waste a shot on just one? No, because there are two. I wonder how close I could stand to that. Is that it? The swarm of Gibdos seem to be coming from there. Ah. Oh. Oh. We need to destroy that somehow, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. Go. Oh, I s Go. Good. Uh, maybe... Riju. Can you hit that thing yourself? Go. No, it's protected by the top. I need to go help him. Shoot the tree. Job, you. How do we destroy that? I can't climb it. Let's try another. Uh, deal with these first. Hey, come here. Come on. That's right. That's right. That's right. Gather up. Gather around. This is a story all about how your life got flipped, turned upside down. Okay, let's give it a shot. So I can I can get a weird. Maybe I wait till they start spawning. Let's try another one. No, that's not helping. I'm also running out of arrows. Go. Maybe while it's doing this. Nope. Hmm. I'm starting to run out of arrows, Riju. Huh. Okay, let me let me back up a little bit. Talk to her. Hey, nothing's working. That hive, it opens up whenever more enemies emerge. I bet I can destroy it with my lightning strikes. Okay, just more. You know what? It does look a little bit cracked, doesn't it? Go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. We just had to hit it really hard. Come on. I'm running out of arrows here. We're gonna have to make these count. Come on. That's the spirit. At least they're dumb. They look very insectoid. It's hard to imagine the kind of creature these they would have been in life. Come on, guys. Bang. Okay, one left. A crazy amount of resources. Like, I don't know... Honestly, if... Uh... Switch bows. If, uh... Go. If these things are brittle, if the Gibdo bones are brittle, maybe I should just be attaching them to arrows and doing tons of damage. Bulyara, well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. Is that Whoa. Zelda? Is it? Zelda, wait! She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. 
And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Ulyara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Link, we're going on ahead. I'll meet you in town. It looks like I don't have much of a choice. Our fate is inter intermingled with that of Rejews and Gerudo Town. I guess there's no going east anymore. There's only going forward and getting more arrows. <laughs> oh, but I can't afford them, man. <sighs> Fine. Go forward. Go to Gerudo Town and we're gonna do it right this time. And by that... No! No! Get back! No! Got it. Go! Course correct. Course correct. Steer. This is not working. Ah! Fine. <laughs> that did not work. Uh, fine. It, it got us. It kind of got. It, it kind of worked. It kind of worked. This will work better though. Let's go to Gruta Town. Fly. Hopefully it won't hit us. We're fine. Hold forward this time. And do it right. And also change our clothes. Oh, that that's surrounded by Gibdo things. That's not good. Okay, hold forward. Get to that and then we can fly the rest the rest of the way. And grab the uh, Korok seed. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Onward to Gerudo Town. Gibdos. I gotta try fire on them. I wonder if they'll make a special exception for me. And let me in, uh, let me in. Hey! Your town is under attack. You wanna let me in? Since I saved your people once? Hi! What do you think of this? Pretty great, am I right? It was all my idea too. Who else would attach a fire fruit to the end of a spear? Oh, I can feel my fighting spirit yearning to be unleashed with this in hand. And you? Uh. If the monsters get through here, it, it, it's a straight shot to the shelter. No matter what happens, I won't let anything break through here. Okay, but, um... Was I... I guess I'm not quite there yet. And I can't go inside. I can't go inside. Gonna respect him. Not just gonna waltz in. I, I'm not going to uh, infringe my culture upon theirs. They don't want men inside. Then they don't get them. And that's their bad. See how they like it. I just won't invite them to my birthday party. Hi. They outnumbered us in the last battle, and we were able to and were able to break our lines. But we won't let that happen this time. We're fully pre prepared for a long fight that will challenge our endurance. We won't lose. Can't see a bloody thing in here.
I can't even see the quest marker. Yeah! Throne room, here we go! Oh, snap. We're in? They're not kicking us out? Hey, Rachel. Reju. Yeah. Come here. Hey. Hi. Hmm. Look, Link. There's, there's a Gibdo hive, just like the one that appeared near Karakara Bazaar. Hmm. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time, too. But it's not the only the one hive. There are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are, are dur durable and nearly impervious to attack. But when they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. The Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever. <laughs> so when they launch their attack, that's, when, that's our chance to, to strike. Huh? Come. Come. To where I am. Is that Arbosa? Uh. Again. You heard it, didn't you? Come. Is it calling out to us? Mm -hmm. Lady Riju, Link. Is something the matter? I thought... It's nothing. <clears throat> Link, for now we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gates. We must prepare for battle. Well! <sighs> oh. It would be... Oh, come on! Man! <laughs> they like Gavo and Gerudo Town. <laughs> I was gonna have a walk around. <laughs> oh, did they lock us up? <laughs>